Welcome to part 44 of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. Let's continue the game. Okay, the first thing we're going to do in this video is battle Vermilion, um, Vermilion City's gym leader, who I think is Lieutenant Surge. So, but for that we need to get a Pokemon that has cut, so I need my Sand Slash out. I need to take a Slash. Let's put away old uh, Raikou. Let's also put away Delibird. And let's put away Onyx, because we need to trade him across to get the Steelix. Um, I don't think I'll train up an Onyx on its own without turning into Steelix, because uh, they're pretty rubbish. I remember Onyx in Generation 1 was pretty rubbish. Um, yeah, let's withdraw. What do we need? Who is it? It's uh, Sand Slash, isn't it? Who naturally, of course, isn't in there. Ah, I hate looking at that bloody poke on these things, but save it every time for some reason. See so here? Yeah, here he is. Right. Anyway, it's a good thing, because we also need ground type. We need some ground types. The pseudo -wood pseudo wudo might help. Uh, and golem. I'll keep I'll, I'll keep Quagsire out because I can't be asked to uh, to get him out again when I need to surf. Yep, there we go. I suppose I could have surfed around that. Never mind. Uh, Vermilion City Pokemon Gym Leader Lieutenant Surge, the Lightning American. Oh, I wish I could hear that old Pokemon Gym music. Hate this remix. So get the old one back. Yo, champion making. I'm already I'm not a champion making. I am the champ. I've already defeated the elite, the elite four. You lucked out this time. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. He has traps set all over the gym, but haha, <laughs> the traps aren't active right now. You'll have no problem getting to Lieutenant Surge. Oh. We didn't see the Pokemon Gym. Okay. No, nothing here, but I'm going to check all these, aren't I? There's something in them. I know, I'll use the item finder, that would tell me if there's something in there. No. Nope. There's nothing in here. I'm going to take you down, prepare to be shocked. Shock me. Put on your black leather. J uh, juggler Horton wants to battle. How's a juggler electric? Sending out Electrode. And I'm sending out Pidgeot. Okay, that's fine. Let's do Fly. Yep. Oh. Rollout gets worse, so so it won't be won't be bad on the first turn. It's an angry Pokeball. An electrode. Okay, so it's an electric move. Let's do pseudo wudo. You know Woodward Woodward. If you took the E's out of his no, no, the D's out of his name, he'd be called E Wa Wu Wa. Pseudo Wudo reminds me of that, so I was doing an impression of uh, Joe Pasquale. Let's do faint attack. E Wa Wu Wa. I do talk complete drivel during these videos, don't I? Partly because I'm just bored with these stupid Pokemon battles. I'm gonna hurry up and get it over and done with. Ah, oh, but another lecture. God, and Ben, how many are there? Yes, yeah, so it doesn't work with one. I'll try three or four of them. Stop doing low kick. It's awful. Not low kick. I mean roll out. It's awful. I'm doing low kick, that's not bad. Slam. What does slam mean as opposed to body slam? I've always wondered that. 
Always sounds like a boomerang. Barmy Art Boomerang, who remembers that? I don't, because I never watched it, because it was crap. Right. Uh, keep him out. Had that toy of Wilcox in it. Yeah, you, you know, you'd expect someone with such a bad lisp to try to hide it. It's like, you know, it makes it painful to listen to. <sighs> oh. Juggler Horse was defeated. Good. Wow, I was overpowered. £1,220 for winning. Don't get too comfortable about beating me. Lieutenant Surge is tough. Let's get Golem out for some... Uh, for some fun times. Lieutenant Surge recognised my potential with electric Pokemon. Think you can beat me? Yes, I do. I'm 100% certain I'll be able to beat you. Yeah, notice how the Pokemon, uh, the battle music now is a remix of the one that was in Generation 1. Again, it's not as good as the one in Generation 1. Guitarist Vincent wants to battle. Level 27 Magnemite. Let's do Earthquake. That's a ground move, isn't it? This will be uh, super effective. I know it is, that's why I used it. Oh, four mag. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna, um, uh, I'm gonna fast forward through this. It's just stupid. Yes, next, another magnemite. Come on. Oh, Voltorb this time. Oh, how shocking. £1,024 for winning. Just 2 to the power of 8, is it? No, it's not. It's 2 to the power of 10. I apologise. It's 32 squared, which is... 32 is 2 to the power of 5. And so 2 to the power of 5, all to the power of 2 is 2 to the power of 5, times 2 is 2 to the power of 10. So 1,024 is 2 to the power of 10, 2 to the power of 8. That, that's, five, that's 256. Which is also 8 to the power of... It's about no. No, it's four to the power of four. Yeah, four to the four is six, is two hundred fifty-six. That means eight. <laughs> so I'm just trying to work out sixty-four times eight. It's five hundred twelve, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Who cares? All right, send some to Mum. There we go. If the gym's trap's working, you would have been toast. You're here to defeat Lieutenant Surge, not if I can help it. You know, on a Virtual Rider 2 on a Saturn, when you, uh, uh, if you're Sarah or you're facing Sarah and she beats you, or you or you win as Sarah, her taunt is. Better run home to Mama now. Gentleman Gregory sent out Pikachu. Flaffy. Yeah, ground moves we need, so magnitude should be good as well. Magnitude 7. Great. 
Gentleman Gregory was defeated. Sorry I failed you, Lieutenant Serge. Sir. 2276. He looks older than Lieutenant Serge, so how could he be... You know, he looks... If he's a gentleman, he would have been an officer, like a colonel or something. He would outrank Lieutenant. 2375 pounds or 76 pounds of winning. Who cares? Right. Uh, when I was still in the army, Lieutenant Serge saved my life. Great. But you would have been... You don't look like someone who's in the American army. You look like you'd be in the British army. Serge, hey, you little tyke. I have to hand it to you. It may not be very smart to challenge me, but it takes guts. When it comes to electric Pokemon, I'm number one. I've never lost on the battlefield. Yes, you have. You lost to... You lost to a person generation one. I'll zap you just like I did my enemies in war. Why don't they just make the Pokemon fight in war? I mean, that would be better, wouldn't it? Rather than having soldiers. Leader Lieutenant Surge wants to battle. Lieutenant Surge sends out Raichu. Yeah, this is a remix of the excellent um, uh, Gym Leader music from Generation 1, but again, not as good. Done Quick Attack. Just use something uh, use something ground type, and never ever use something water type. Oh, there's five of them. No. If you think about uh, their evasion going up, it doesn't affect me, so when he's fainted, which is now, um, that's the end of that double team. It's not like Sand Attack or Smoke Screen. Oh, Golem's only at level 51, good. Electabuzz, no, I'll keep out Golem, he's doing well. Have an Earthquake. Oh no, a normal attack. What will I do? Well, you know the only Pokemon that uh, have nicknames, apart from the ones that you can nickname if you want to, are the ones that you trade. Uh, the, the opponents never have uh, nicknames, I suppose because it may probably make it harder for you to know what, what Pokemon it is, maybe, and the type of advantages and stuff. I don't know. Oh, good, level 51. Magneton, um, yes we will, Sand Slash. Don't we have a ground move there to travel all normal? Let's do fury swipes. No, it missed. Fury swipes again, and it misses again. Oh, I can use swift, can I? In fact, I will use swift. Uh, okay, I'm. I have to speed this up a bit because it's boring. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. Yes, we will. We will get out pseudo wudo. No, we won't get out gramble. Well, I must say, Lieutenant Serge, I'm I'm being zapped here. I, I, I don't know how I'm gonna. I, I think I'm gonna have to faint and lose all my money again. I was rock smash a fighting move. Now is strength not a fighting move? Oh, good. Oh, good. Level 51 for Grand Ball. Good. Try and learn Takedown. I will. I'll get rid of Rage, because that's rubbish. Can't forget... Well, it can forget Rock Smash, but I don't want to forget Rock Smash, because I need Rock Smash. And uh, it can't forget Strength, so Rage will have to go. And I'm not getting rid of Bite, because that's a good move. I said that Surge was defeated. Ah, you are strong. Okay, kid, you get Thunder Badge. £4,600 of winning. Let's see, received Thunder Badge. 
Then the badge increases Pokemon's speed. Consider it proof that you defeated me. You wear it proudly here. Hey kids, still slugging and chugging away? My Pokemon and I are still at it. Yes, yeah, in the last five seconds. I think if you defeat all the people in the gym without defeating... If you defeat the gym leader without defeating all the people in the gym first, and after you defeat the gym leader, then you forfeit those battles. So don't do that if you want to experience some money. Otherwise, do it. Phew, that was an electrifying belt. It's, it sure made me nervous. Okay, let's continue to... Um, explore the region of Kanto. Let's put some Pokemon away, though. Uh, I'm going to put Granbull away, keep Sandslash out, and put um, Golem away. I don't need them anymore. That's the advantage of the no Pokemon left behind strategy. It means I always have something for every gym battle. I could just get out. I, I know Golem's level 50. I can use him for... I can just get him out and use him for the uh, uh, for that gym, Lieutenant Surge, and then that's the end of that. Because now he's level 50. He's ready to fight. So thank you, Golem. What does he have on him? Ah, oh, pink bow, good, he can go away. Uh, let's get out, put away pseudo Wudo. Need something that can... Something that has hypnosis on it. And I need a weak one, something weak. Something weak. Something weak. Box one. I knew it was box. I knew. God, every time I make them, I make that mistake every time. Thinking it was one that was that one I had at the beginning that I put bloody uh, Onyx in, but it wasn't. It was bloody three. I need something weak. There we go. Right, Tyro. Let's do Onyx. No, it's probably be too weak. I think I'll use Scyther. No, it's too weak. I'll try Onyx. I just, I'm not going to level them up. I just need something weak because I want to catch some Pokemon. There'll probably be some new ones I haven't caught here. Well, there definitely will be one, I'm saying. I need Hypno for the old sleeping, of course. Oh, and Headbutt, which is quite handy. He can nut trees. How do I get that super rod? <sighs> okay, I'll come back if I find something new. Okay, there's nothing new here. There's just magnet, um, magnemites, drowses, and meows here. So pretty rubbish. Can we go in here? Oh, yes we can. Welcome to Saffron City, home of the Magnet Train. That's what I'd normally say, but the Magnet Train isn't running now. It's not getting any electricity because there's something wrong with the power plant. Yeah, it was abandoned in the last game, so... That's probably what's wrong with it. I.e. not working. The road is closed until the problem at the power plant is solved. Oh, you git. Underground path, Cerulean City, Vermilion City. So we can't get to the bloody Cerulean. <sighs> okay, we're going to Saffron then, I suppose. Is that a shadow? Yes, it is. You came out from Johto. You can zip back home if the magnet train's running. Mr. Psychic's house. I got it. You wanted this. TM29. Let's see, put the TM29 in the TM pocket. TM29 is psychic. It may lower the target special defense. Oh, that's a great psychic move. Brilliant, I'll keep that. Although I know not to whom I'll give it. Uh, 
There's a place called Trainer House in Viridian where trainers gather from all over the place. Oh uh, yes, more on that later. Have you been to Lavender Town? There's a tall radio tower there. Yeah, we'll deal with that later. Let's deal with Saffron first. It's like a sort of jazzy remix. Enough of that. This is Sylphco, famous for Pokemon merchandise. In the past, Team Rocket wanted the company because of that. Wanted the company because of that, okay, let's see what's going on. No, oh, the music's not there anymore. Welcome, well, of course not, I've played this game before. Welcome, this is Sylphco's head office building. That's her only job. She gets paid 30 grand a year for that, you know. Um, she's had to go through five years of rigorous training to be able to tell me those very words. Can't go upstairs anymore, even if you if you game shark him away, there's nothing the stairs don't lead anywhere. Only employees are permitted to go upstairs. Yes. Um I'm an employee, honest. But since you came such a long way, have this neat little souvenir. Yes, he received upgrade. Is upgrade hyphenated? I don't know. Probably not. Let's see put the upgrade in the item pocket. It's Self Co's latest product. It's not for sale anywhere yet. Okay, now the upgrade is a very special item indeed. A mysterious box made by Silvco. Now what it does is if when you get a Porygon, uh, make the Porygon hold the upgrade, trade the Porygon across to someone, and it'll turn in, it'll evolve into Porygon 2. That's how you get Porygon 2, but you're not supposed to know that at this point. You're supposed to go, oh no, what, are, what, is, what is the upgrade? But that's what it does. Silvco office. So that's all you get from the Silvco. That's it. So there's nothing else to do in the Silvco building. Nothing. Did you hear about the accident at the power plant? It's located in the east, close to Lavender Town. Again, that's le that leads over to Celadon. Can't be asked for that right now. A little girl who is an expert at mimicking people lives here. She even mimics the people she's conversing with. It's confusing. You mean the people with whom she's conversing, that's what you mean. Going into an alley for the first time makes me sorta of anxious. Brilliant, what's the point of that? My daughter likes to mimic people. Her mimicry has earned her the nickname Copycat around here. Blissey, Blissey, yeah. Blissey is what you get when you evolve Chansey when it's happy. It bloody took me ages when I first completed Silver, I tell you. Ages. My daughter is so self-centred, she only has a few friends. It's a bit harsh. Actually, what's on the telly? It's a TV, nothing, I suppose. This is a rare Pokemon hurt, it's only a doll. It's a TV. And you're just walking into someone's bedroom, without even being asked. It's a free fall. This is a rare Pokemon Her, it's only a doll. Dojo Gigi. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest one of all? Oh, how did she turn into me? Let's see. Hi, do you like Pokemon? Let's see. Uh, no, I just asked you. Let's see. Hey, you're strange. Hmm, quit mimicking. Qu quit mimicking, but that's my favourite hobby. Great. And that's that. Not much to do around here, really. Uh, 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 the folk are simple here. Saffron City Magnet Train Station. The Magnet Train is a super modern rail liner that uses electricity and magnets to attain incredible speed. However, if there isn't any electricity... I'm sorry, but the magnet train isn't operating now. Oh, it is. I'll just game shark and uh, use game shark to get rid of you. Then it will work. You annoying git. Our, our city was featured on a radio program. It's nice to hear praise for your city, but it's a bit embarrassing too. Yep, good. Just want to see if it said a bit embarrassing. Saffron City, shining golden land of commerce. You're from Johto, aren't you? How do you like Kanto? It's nice, don't you agree? No. 
It's not as good as what it used to be. It's gone off terribly. Everyone welcome, Fighting Dojo. I went to the gym, rearing for battles against trainers. It turns out I stumbled into the unused gym next door. Boy, I was pretty embarrassed. Saffron City Pokemon Gym Leader Sabrina, the master of psychic Pokemon. Uh, we'll see about that. We will see about that. Enemies on every side, and what goes around comes around. Let's see, found Focus Band. That's the one, that's the thing that powers up fighting moves, I think. Pretty sure it does. So give it to fighting Pokemon. May prevent. No, it doesn't. I'm sorry, that's complete rubbish. It's may prevent fainting. Hold. Oh yeah, it, it it might make it. Yeah, this is that's right. If you give it to a Pokemon, it will make it so that they might not faint. It'll give them like one HP left or something. It's not that great. Yeah, here's a laugh. You know the upgrade I got. The first one I got that. I thought to myself, oh, I don't need another copy of silver, gold, or crystal to to trade across the. Porygon with the upgrade and get the uh, and get the um, Porygon 2. Oh no! What I thought I'd do is I knew it wouldn't evolve into Porygon 2 in blue, but I thought that it might keep the information about that it had an upgrade. And when I traded it back with the upgrade from blue, then it would have that it would evolve into Porygon 2 when I traded it back to silver. Oh no! I was so stupid. Of course it lost the upgrade. So I traded it over to blue. It lost the upgrade. And then I trade it back again, and then I had no upgrade, no point gone too. Brilliant. So that's when game that's when Game Shark came in handy. Now not Game Shark actually, I actually ended up getting a Poygon 2, someone traded me across their one and I traded it back, so I got it on the Pokedex. It was, it was still annoying though. When I got Crystal I did it properly. But yeah, it was annoying. And I was I remember the sinking feeling thinking, oh shit. <laughs> I've lost the upgrade. Hello! Karate King, the fighting dojo's master, is in a cave in Jojo for training. I know, I've seen him. Okay, let's deal with the gym here. Anyone to whom to talk here? Choo Choo, I hear there's big trouble brewing at the power plant. Choo Choo. Oh, he's doing it because of the... Uh, He's saying choo choo because of the train, isn't it? Or so I don't know. I want to become stronger, but I'm not good yet. Could you show me how sometime? No. I'm not able to, because yeah, cause we never follow up on that. There's a big radio tower in Lavender. I know. What are you selling, boy? Uh, 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 flower mail, no thanks. No, uh, that's everything. Actually, how, how, much, how much is an upgrade going for these days? 1,050. No. You can have a berry, though, for five pounds. Blimey. Yeah, there you go. You can actually sell the upgrade. Where am I going? Right, let's go and get some decent Pokemon. I need ones that can go against uh, ones that can go against psychic types to deal with the gym. Yeah, there's not much to do in Kanto really. It's just, it's just, it's really just like an Easter egg wandering around Kanto. I mean, they only added it, added it, it. They only added it in as an afterthought, I think. Okay, let's put Onyx away. I didn't find any new Pokemon, did I? Eh, uh, well... Eh, uh, uh, yeah, 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 that'll be alright. I need Crow back, because he has Bite. And actually, let's use Gengar. I haven't used him much. Let's also use... Uh, who was the other one? Stantler, was it? Because he has dark, a Faint Attack or something. Yeah, let's use him. There we go, that'll do. He's already at level 51 as well. Let's use Gengar, that'll be a laugh. I'll put him to sleep, then use Dream Eater. 
Okay, Sabrina, you're mine. My level 50 Pokemon are going to whip you, as they say in America. Oh no. Yo, champion making again, I'm already the champ. A trainer as skilled as you doesn't need to be told how to deal with psychic type Pokemon, right? I expect great things from you. Good luck. Yeah, I know how to deal with psychic type. Sorry from City Pokemon Gym, okay, let's go. Go on then. The power of all those you defeated comes to me. Don't be pretentious. Mad. Why is she wearing a bubble hat? I said that last time, didn't I? Medium Rebecca wants to battle. Says that drowsy. If you're a medium, why do you think that's psychic types? A medium deals with uh, ghosts, surely. Uh, hypnosis. Yep, doesn't work, of course. Why would it? Why would it? Hypnosis, please, no. I just want one hypnosis to work so I can use Dream Eater. Alright, hypnosis. Nope. Is it actually going to work? Oh, great. This is not going well, is it? Uh, it is destroying my Gengar, I must say. Right, we're finished. Well, thank you, Gengar. That was uh, very helpful. Right, let's use Stantler. No, it doesn't have any dark moves. Oh, well. Let's just use... Let's just use uh, Stomp. There we go. Goodbye. Some recoil from this. Yep, blime is not a recoil. Strong, far too strong. 1,400 pounds of winning. What is the source of your power? Uh, going into the grass and training for ages with the fast forward button on. That's pretty much it. Until that level 50 or 51 or whatever. Okay, may I see your Pokemon? Just do it! I don't know where I'm going. Oh, this is a new one. There we go. Foo, 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 foo. I see it clearly. I can see into your soul. Medium Doris. That's what the x trade was called in blue. And red. That you trade across for. Slowpoke. A Gengar. Here we go. Right. Please use bloody hypnosis. Oh. It's just... Painful. Why won't hypnosis work? Why are you so useless, Gengar? For God's sake! Thank you. It's the seventh, seventh time. Awful. What right, bloody dream eater you get? Thank you. Give me my health back. Have a nightshade. Nightshade. 
No, we're going to do it again. <laughs> I'm sort of looked at. It. I said, What's that? Oh yeah, uh, someone has, has attached a, a thing to my tail uh, in an act of animal cruelty to make me stronger. That's what's happened. Oh good, oh, thank God for that. Yeah, it'll do 50 damage because I'm at level 50 right now. Let's do another drink. No, let's do another nightshade. Pardon me. Though I read you, I still lost. Uh, uh, rendering uh, reading useless. 1,440 pounds for winning. Darn, I forgot that I predicted I would lose to you. Well, that's just retarded, really, isn't it? I mean, come on. Uh, just use sand slash. Now oh, let's explore this place. Oh, that leads there. Where's that lead? Oh, there's a new place. Good. Psychic power is the power of your soul. Psychic Franklin wants to battle. Sends out Kadabra. Okay, let's do cut. Nice! Psychic Franklin was defeated. Your soul has more power than mine. 1,184 pounds for winning. You made your soul stronger, not just your abilities. Great. Oh, hair again. Oh, this one's new. There we go. The fighting dojo next door was once the city's gym. Yes, you know the great story of how you beat them, and then now you're the gym. Psychic ja Jared, Jared wants to battle. Mr. Ma Mr. Ma Look at it! Look at it! Slash, let's take a slash. No. Nope. Execute. Well, what's this going to do? Hmm. Oh, good. Thank God for that. Swift. Execute, no. Psychic Jared was defeated. I was no match. £1,120 to winning. Go on and tell me the story of the gym again. Karate King, the master of the fighting danger, was just destroyed by Sabrina. That was ages ago. Not just, just happened. Uh, let's try to get to the middle. I think it's one of those ones. No. Nope. This one then. No. Nope. Uh, we fought, fought you, didn't we? Nope. There we go. I knew you were coming. Three years ago, I had a vision of your arrival. You're after my badge. Oh, uh, yeah. Sherlock Holmes. I don't enjoy battling, but it's my duty as a leader to confer badges on anyone who has proven him or herself worthy. 
Since you wish it, I will show you my psychic powers. If you don't like bathing, why'd you become a gym leader, you silly cow? I mean, honestly. And why is her hair black when it was red in the overworld? Leader Sabrina wants to battle. Espion. Oh good. Have another one. Oh no, it actually did sand attack. Great. And swift because swift never misses. And it's an aside. First Pokemon in this gym actually to do a psychic move. I always think Espeon and Umbeon don't really look like Eevee. I mean, the other Eevee evolutions look like Eevee, but, you know, Vaporeon, Flareon, and Jolteon, whereas they just look like generic beasts that just happen to evolve from Eevee. Mr. Mime again. Do Stantler. Ten boots are stomping. Yeah, it's a song. I, I've mentioned that before. It's a song by. Uh, well, I haven't mentioned this before. It's a song by a band called Dangerous Toys. Ten boots are stomping or something. Pidgeot. Oh, got the big guns out, Alakazam. Let's do Fly. See, why don't they take on the, the Elite Four? Her Pokemon are stronger than Elite Four's Pokemon. I mean, she could be the champion if I hadn't gone there first. Ugh. It's going to do recover, isn't it? Oh no, we've got a critical. Good. I think it was a critical anyway. Oh, that was difficult. Your power. It far exceeds what I foresaw. Maybe it isn't possible fully to predict what the future holds. Okay, you win. You earned yourself Marsh Badge. £4,800 of winning. Sent some to Mum. Yes, you received Marsh Badge. Marsh Badge draws out your subliminal powers. Although I failed accurately to predict your power, this much I know to be true. You will become a celebrated and beloved champion. I'm already am a champion. How many more times? I am a champion. Your love for your Pokemon overwhelmed my psychic power. The power of love, I think, is also a kind of psychic power. No, it isn't. Right. How do we get out of here? I'm gonna get out of here. Oh good, there we are. And then it was this one, wasn't it? There we go, good. Oh, what does he say now? That was another fantastic battle. Get ready for the next battle. Some Tekken 5. Okay, so we're done with that place. Next stop, we're going to... Well, explore elsewhere. Get some decent Pokemon out for the next time. We want to catch some, don't we? Okay, away you go. Not stands, just need that. Away you go, Gengar. You were quite useless in this one. Uh, Hypno. Oh no, I need Hypno. I need Hypno. Uh, uh.
Obviously that onyx again. I can't have not evolved. Oh yeah, because hasn't learnt bloody solar beam yet. That's right. Weeping Bell hasn't learnt solar beam yet. No, I need a. Where's Onyx? For God's sake, where is Onyx? <sighs> Come on. There he is. Let's get on with this, right? Jose Birdkeeper. Oh, I see. Tweet. Yeah, it's me, Jose. Hey, listen, my far fetched stick has this really delicious aroma. That aroma gets my appetite going. I ran into a wild quagsire. I was trying to catch it, but it took off faster than I thought it would. It was a bit disappointing. Be seeing you. Thanks for that. Absolutely fascinating stuff. Alright. Keep me on the edge of my seat, that story. Alright. Actually. Yeah, that'll do. The okay, next video we'll be exploring further in this region. Still haven't added to the Pokedex in this place yet. Alright, thanks for watching and goodbye.